guys and welcome to Starting Out Solitary. My name is Amanda and I am your Tuesday host and this week we are talking about solitary versus covets. I am a solitary practitioner and this has a lot to do with my me being me and the area I live in. Sorry, if you hear a padding, that's me patting my baby because he's hanging out with me right now. Right, we're hanging out, we're hanging out. Um, but um, I'm solitary because the area I live in does not have covens around here at all. Um, I have an electric church type deal that goes around down here, but I have yet to find it. Like, I know of it, I've heard of it, I've seen websites and stuff like for it, but I have yet to see it at its address. So, to me, unless it's like the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse where you have to sing a song for it to pop up the ground, I do not see it at the location it says it is at. I might just be crazy, and I went to the wrong spot, because this town has really crazy weird streets, that there's like dual streets, so you have to just know what side of town you need to be on, hopefully, to get there. Um, so that's the biggest deal. Um, the closest covens that I would have, like, variety of covens to choose from is, um, about an hour to four hours away. So if I wanted to have a variety of covens to choose from and actually try, have a trial and error to get to a coven that I fit in, that um, would be an hour to four hour drive for me. And that's not ideal considering I am a stay at home mom and child care is, I'm child care. So like finding other, another person to have, watch my kids so I can go do something. Um, it's kind of difficult, and my husband, like, he'd watch them, but he wouldn't approve of me going, like, four hours away to go do something I'm interested in. Like, that's just not feasible to him, so that's not going to happen. So that's okay. That's totally okay. Um, I'm also solitary because I have social anxiety, which is a personal problem, I know, but I have it. And it makes it really hard for me to function with people face-to-face. Um, it makes it really hard to talk to people and stuff like that and get to know people. And then if you're on my Facebook, you'll watch me see, like, I have no friends and I'm lonely. Well, yeah, that's mostly because it's my fault and my problem. Then it's something I'm trying to overcome. I've only had it for a couple of years. I've had it since I was 18 years old. And there was a big reason for why it happened. Um, but that's okay. It's something I'm working on. I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I'm like, oh, whatever. And me being whatever about it kind of makes it go away. So, yeah, dealing with it. But another reason I'm solitary is because I do not do structure very well. Um, like, the year and a day that a coven could put you through or their structure, I don't think I could follow it. I figure this to be true in the fact that I can't even do the Wiccan year and day book, like the workbook. If I'm, like, I get to day 10... I've done this workbook, like, to up to day 10 so many times. But then I'll, like, want to do more than just the one lesson that they give a day. It's because I crave that knowledge kind of feeling, and that could be totally, like, childish of me or whatever you want to call it, or, like, very naive or, like, immature or whatever. Um, but it's just because I'm so excited. I've only been in this path for, like, two, roughly two years almost, and... A lot of it, like, I just kind of feel like I'm in the researching stage. Like, I practice it, and I do the practice, and I'm just right now trying to figure out what I like, or what works for me, what I like, what works for me, and what doesn't. And I'm trying to discard what I don't find to be true or workable, not even if it's not true to me, it just doesn't work for me. So I'm just kind of finding my little way, and I feel like I'll probably be doing this for five years, like, just researching and trying to figure out how to do my my thing as a solitary practitioner. And then when I get to five years, maybe, um, maybe I'm hoping that I get enough of a foundation. That's pretty much how I see myself right now, is just building a foundation to go off of. Because I feel like whatever I learn and whatever I kind of tell people, I have to kind of back it up. I can't just be spewing, like, water all over the place and not know where the source is from, like, kind of thing. So I want to be very well-rounded and educated in what I'm doing. So I kind of just feel like a baby in that sense. So that's another reason why I can't, I don't feel like I should join a coven yet, because I don't have a good enough foundation, but vice versa, that could be really good if you do not have a foundation, you could build up a foundation through a coven, um, 
So it could go either or. I just feel like if I don't have a foundation, I shouldn't join something structured because I don't have something to build up on. Like, I at least should know the basics, which I feel like I need to go, like, a couple more years. At least, like, two more years to, like, get all my, like, a foundation put under me. And, like, this year, I'm finally putting my information together and being like, this works and this doesn't, this works and this doesn't. So, that's pretty much why I'm solitary. Um, I don't want to chat your ear off about the same thing over and over again. So, I'll let you guys go, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I will get back to you for sure. So, until next time, you guys, blessed be.